this morning, the University of Pennsylvania is looking for a new leader. President Liz McGill resigning Saturday afternoon. The announcement made via letter from the Ivy League School Board of Trustees Chair, Scott Bach, who also stepped down. The letter including a statement from McGill, who wrote, It has been my privilege to serve as president of this remarkable institution. The departing president will remain as a tenured faculty member. It comes after days of mounting pressure following McGill's appearance at a House hearing on anti-Semitism, where she had this exchange with New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. If the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? McGill's failure to reject calls for genocide resulted in widespread backlash from students, faculty, business leaders, and lawmakers. Leaders have a responsibility to speak and act with moral clarity, and Liz McGill failed to meet that simple test. Stefanik also pressed the presidents of Harvard and MIT during the hearing, who now face similar pressure to resign. On Saturday, the congresswoman posting on X, one down, two to go. After the hearing, McGill attempted to clarify her remarks. I was not focused on, but I should have been. The irrefutable fact that a call for genocide of Jewish people is a call for some of the most terrible violence human beings can perpetrate. But an audience of the school's mega donors was unmoved, some threatening to pull hundreds of millions of dollars unless she resigned. She kind of got strong arm at the position. I think removing her does kind of like alleviate some of that hurt. Now, the Board of Trustees did announce they'll announce plans for an interim leader here at Penn in the coming days. Meanwhile, the Board of Trustees has appointed their vice chair, Julie Platt, to be the interim chair. She happens to be an alum and the mother of actor Ben Platt. Willie? George Solis on the campus of the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. George, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.